Hey guys, it's Rosario, and in this quick bite, I'm going to be diving into uh, frame houses on block, cinder blocks. I'm going to dive right into it. So, this house here, photos were sent um, somehow. The, one of the first photos were a picture of a stuccoed house that was block construction, which this is not the case. So I don't know if the wholesaler just intentionally did that or goofed up, whatever. But here's the house. Here's the real house, right? Um, now, when I pull up, I look at the neighbor, the neighboring homes. Like, that's nice. That's nice and clean. Even this one resided nice and clean. No, it's not a trailer. It's an actual house. But coming here now, um, am I against houses sitting on blocks? No. Uh, depending on how old the house is and if it's level inside, I'm not completely opposed to it. But I'm opposed to this house, and I'll tell you why. Uh, in Chicago, there was an area I used to buy quite a bit in years ago there was a lot of older homes frame one and a half story oh doggy and what you run into a lot of times is <coughs> excuse me these smells just never get old what you run into is you've got it's like a house of cards you see the different level here so you have a few different additions. You can tell with the ceiling height, right? An enclosed back porch that is now a laundry room slash utility room. You look at the bathroom here, lovely. Exposed stack, they just tie right in. So the issue with a lot of these homes, frame older homes, whether you're in Illinois or in Florida, um, you're dealing with unleveled floors. I don't know if you guys can tell here. Oh, it just <laughs> fell off the back. But look at the fridge, right? It's not standing straight. This floor dips in. You can see where the cracks are. Cabinets aren't level. You got that throughout the whole house. It's like three different sections, okay? And then you get into this front room. Who knows when this was added? I'm I'm short, okay, and I could touch the ceiling. So houses, frame houses on block. You can see the door frame up there. See how that's not straight? It's because the floor is sinking on one side. Um, I personally don't feel it's worth the investment. It's just a big risk, and you're you've got. Clearly, you've got some structural issues here. You may have termites that are eating away at the floors. Um, in this market, unless the house is a newer frame home built in the 50s or 60s, I'd prefer buying houses that are on a slab um, or that are block construction. Um, or again, if they're framed, they were built in the 50s and 60s, not something built in the 20s or 30s. Um, where you're going to run into functional obsolescence, you know, like this kitchen here, right? So even as a rental property, not that you look at it as a rental property as something that, yes, I got the mask on, as something that's inferior, right? But even as a rental, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't touch something like this. So. Um, hope this was helpful. Please provide any comments or feedback, and you can email me at rosario at clickinvest.com, or you can leave comments in uh, the section below if you're on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.